Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back again, Lucha FM, for another episode of the So Show Youth Only Challenge. Um, first of all, I want to apologise for not being, um, not having a video out yesterday. Uh, I was meant to put out a Dynamo, Pilibisi, and Georgia uh, football manager video, but unfortunately, uh, for, for certain reasons, I couldn't do it. So, yeah, so I apologise for that. And basically, we'll be back to normal starting today. So today and tomorrow is the So Show save. Wednesday is TEW 2020 Fight Club Pro. Thursday and Friday is the Football Manager 24, Dynamo, Tillibusy, and uh, the Georgian National Team save. And then Saturday is TW 2020 Fight Club Pro. And then on Sunday, um, I'm probably not going to do anything on a Sunday from now on, I think. Um, or I might just have Saturday off, I don't know. I might, I, might do another, I might do a video, it depends. But I'm giving myself the option to have a day off because I don't want to get burnt out um but you know i'm enjoying what i'm doing i just don't want to get to the point where i'm not enjoying it so yeah and also as well i'll be honest with you i've looked at the data for the uh, football manager 24 uh georgian national team dynamo to the save and it's not really getting many people interested so if i don't do it on a sunday it's only going to disappoint a couple of people maybe um but for the people who have been watching it thank you 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 are much appreciated more more so than usual because at least somebody's watching it i hope you're enjoying it what it is i hope you're enjoying what i'm doing with the so show save so going back to um previous episode of us playing a uh, so show unfortunately we hit a bit of a brick wall over uh last week and we really struggled to get any consistency and we were getting further and further down the table to the point where we had to fight to keep our job Basically, we managed to convince the board to keep us. Um, I have a new tactic I'm going to use for this save and the other football manager save um, with Tillibisi and, and Georgia. But um, for today, I'll just quickly, after this intro, I'll show you the tactic. Um, it's one that I created on an offline save I've been doing as Ajax. And I think it I think it will probably work pretty well with Socio. Um, it just seems to be one of them tactics that just seems to work with any team really. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a match engine breaking. It's not like I've it's not like a downloaded tactic. So it'd be different if I was using the download tactic. It's one I've kind of done myself, hoping it works and it seems to have worked well. So we'll go through that in a minute. But yeah, I just want to say thank you to the people who have been watching me and supporting me. And I'll be back in a second with the first game of the episode. Right, so here you here we are. So as you can see on here, um, basically we went on a bit of a bad run where we won one or two games in about eleven games. It was ridiculous, um, and then the last four games we drew, and then we won um, in the French Cup. And I think that turned things around um, for us. And then we beat Bois three 0 and then we beat Clermont three 0 So that's really good as well. But even though the tactic that I was using seems seems to have worked the last couple of games. I think in the long run, I don't think it'll work. That's why I've decided to change the tactic um, to the Ajax, one I've used with Ajax. So if we look on here, here's how it's set up, basically. It's a 4-2-3-1 formation using um, fullbacks attacking, ball uh, playing defenders in defence, sweeper keeper, and then we've got a DM support, um, two DM support, sorry, in midfield. Inside forward support, uh, attacking midfield, attack, um, an inside forward support, and an advanced forward up front. Now, I use this tactic on an offline save with Oxford United before I got bored of it. I get very bored of my football manager saves lately offline. The two saves I'm really enjoying is this one with Socho and the one with Dynamo Tillabissi, luckily. Um, but yeah, so I bought Deli Alley in um, the end of the first. Towards the end of the first season, um, oh, actually no, it was it was December of the first season with Oxford United because he got released by Everton early out of his contract. So I signed him, and he played in the attacking midfield position, and he was a revelation. Um, as people know from my previous football manager saves I've done on YouTube and that, I um am a big fan of Daddy Ali, so I tend to sign him in every save. Obviously, I'm not going to sign him in this save, but yeah, he played really really well. But anyway, um. What, what was it? So it's basically the tactic is an attacking one. We've got shorter passing, passing into space, low crosses, running at defence, 
focus down the left and the right, underlap left, underlap right, higher tempo, narrow, and then in transition we roll it out, distribute quickly, counter and counter press. Um, out of possession we are we have a much higher defensive line, a high press, um, much more often, and then preventing the short goalkeeper distribution, we get stuck in, we step up more and we invite the crosses. So there you go. So that's that really. So we got this is the first game of the episode, and it's the first game I'm going to be using this tactic really so 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 it might completely backfire on me, but I don't think it will. So let's just see how we get on with it. A lot of players in the team today are lacking match fitness, so that might not help us. But yeah, we are playing Vans in the French Cup. I do like the uh the the black fans shirt. I wish there was a way that you could get um some of these lower lower clubs in the top five nations um shirt home like football shirts cheap. Oh look at that! That was a great volley, Muemba. I think that's his first goal season. I don't think he's played for us yet, so he's done really well. Uh, Kofi's on the bench for some reason. I think he's not one hundred percent yet. Um, in my Oxford United side, before I got bored of it, I signed about six or seven of Socho's best players. But unfortunately, because of the work permit issues, um, they signed for us, but they every time I tried to apply for a work permit, it just got turned down. So I could never play them. So it was a bit of a shame, really, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna When I do another offline save, I'll probably do it... Um, if I do one in England in the Championship, for instance, I'll probably try and get a file which stops but which gets rid of work permit issues so i can just sign whoever i want because i just think it's so restrictive that you can't even sign a french player i know we're at the eu now but come on ridiculous all right one nil up after 15 minutes playing i had a um a nice little bet on the england game i did a bookings double on bellingham and mainu to get booked and they both got booked in the first 16 minutes i couldn't believe it i was like oh my god I had a few other bets, and I was I was one. I needed um D D uh, Duda or whatever his name is from Slovakia to get booked, and I would have won like three hundred pounds, but he didn't get booked, and he got taken off with ten minutes to go. I was so annoyed because the other player that I need to get booked for this treble just got booked, and I was going, oh, oh, that was a good goal by them, fair play. England, by the way, are very lucky, very lucky. Um, we cannot. We can't assume that was a great performance. It wasn't. The players really need to step up. Um, and Southgate, I think he, I think he, he won't be staying at the end of this tournament anyway. I think he's gone. He knows the writing's on the wall. He's done great. Don't get me wrong, but he needs to move on. Let somebody else get the best out of the players that we've got, and the players need to start fighting for the shirt. Um, it seems to be a common thing, doesn't it, with footballers these days? They just can't. Be, I'm not saying they can't be bothered. Don't get me wrong; they're not all like that, but they just they just seem to strop a lot more, and they just don't seem to put the performance in. Right, remember with the ball now. Oh, yes, get in! What a shot by Gil. Um, I was really rooting for Georgia in that game. Fair play to them. I'm, I'm, I was at half time. I looked at the stats, and I think Georgia had a an, a, an XG of 0.04. And um, Spain, I think they had like a ridiculous XG e e e e of like 3.76 or something stupid like And the fact that Georgia were winning 1-0 at half time. And, they, and even when they were losing 2-1, they kept trying. They kept trying to get a goal. And, you know, nobody expects them to do well. And they did, I think they, they need to um, pat themselves on the back. They did really, really well in that tournament. But Spain are, um, I don't want England to play Spain until the final if possible because Spain are going to get better as that tournament goes on they've got such a good team and they're all young as well so they're definitely a, they're, they're a team that nobody probably expects to do well in this tournament to a point and they're surprised I still think it's Germany's title I still think it's Germany who's going to win personally if you want me to predict it um, but I could be wrong right, who are we going to take off um paisley playing in a in a as the right back which is not usually his position so we'll take him off as well 
Uh, we've got to take off the font. Yeah, I hope you all had a nice weekend. Hope you enjoyed the football. Um, but yeah, some, some, there's, some, there's going to be some cracking games of football this week. A lot of, dra lot of drama to be had as well. It was a great goal by Bellingham. Um, he'll remember that for the rest of his life. Go on. Oh, that was an easy shot. Oh, what's going on here? A bit of a cluster. Oh. Right, winning 2 1. Not long left. Nick the ball off them. We've had 20. This is, this is what I'm saying about this tactic 27 shots, 11 on target, 3.43 HD. It's just ridiculous. I think it must be match ending break. Match engine breaking, but. I haven't technically broke any rules because I haven't like downloaded it. I, I, like I said, I've just made it myself and just been quite lucky with it. It seems to work. Denver with the ball now. He's going to cross it in. He does. Unfortunately, he gets defended well. Oh, that was a foul. Is he going to get red card for that now? Sorry. Oh, yeah, the player that I needed to get booked for that treble, by the way. He, he, he had three fouls already. Should have got booked ages ago. Any other time that would have come in. Go on, Gil, get another one. He's on fire today, Gil. He's, he's up for this game. Right, I think, I think unless something drastic happens here, I think it's game over and we've won through to the next round of the French Cup. Hopefully we play one of the big teams. Like PSG away would be awesome for us financially. Not very good for us uh, morale-wise morale because they'll just destroy us. Then again, they might not have. I don't have my back in this team. I could be wrong. Three-one game over. Nice to see Moema get some goals as well. But yeah, three-nil. Uh, sorry, three-one ended that. Moema a bit of praise. Uh, Got to get to in these contacts. Right. Oh, that's my dog squeezing his new toy. Um, if you could hear that squeak again. Right then, I'll be back in a sec with the next. Right, so we're now playing Grenoble. Grenoble have a good history against us. They always seem to do well against us. They usually win. Um, we play them because they all they have this player called Jamal Lowe, who in real life has just gone to Sheffield Wednesday. Um, and he always scores against us every game we play, and it drives it drives me mad. So I'm hoping he's not there anymore. In fact, that's. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look. I'll find out when I'm playing them. But yeah, hopefully we can win this first league game of the episode. Uh, as much as we want to do well in the French Cup, it's a distant second um, when it comes to us. We need to concentrate on... <clears throat> we need to concentrate... Oh, no. He's off. Nine minutes played and we've already got a player sent off. That is just ridiculous. Probably something to do with, I bet Jamal Lowe's uh, got something to do with that. Is he in the team? I'll have a look after this next highlight. For some reason, we've got the ball and we're bombing forward. I can't see us winning this game, but you never know. Nearly scored. I think I'm going to have to go very defensive. And it's annoying that we have to shut shop after, after 10 minutes being played. But this is what happens when you have idiots. In your team, can't see Jamal though. One nil to that. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this game. Yeah, I don't think Jamal Lowe's there. I wonder if he's. I wonder if they've got rid of him. Uh, let's have a look. Renewable stats. There he is. He's on the bench. That's all right. He's not playing, so that's a good thing. But now he's not playing. Then again, it doesn't really matter at this point. It's a mute point because they're going to win. We just, I just hope they don't crash us. When FM just doesn't want you to win, they'll just get you. They'll, this is what happens. They'll just get one of your players sent off and then that's it. Game over. Good interception there. Gil, Lafont, 
Um, I forgot to put my Socho white shirt on, so you'll just have to bear with me. I'm wearing um, a, a grey edge wrestling t-shirt. Oh, one one. That was a good little goal by Gil as well. He loves a he loves a long shot. He does, doesn't he? So yeah, I'm wearing this. Can you see it? Oh, look, yeah, edge. It was a. Uh, yeah, people who what remember wrestling from like two thousand five, two thousand six will remember that shirt. It was one of my favourite shirts back in the day, but when when it came out, I couldn't afford it at the time. So now I'm in a better position financially. I'm basically reliving my youth or my late twenties when I had no money. Oh my god, that was a great goal by them. Fair play. They're trying to outdo us in the who can score the best goal. Remove get stuck in. Let's listen to our assistant manager. If we can get a point out of this, I'll be very happy. I can't see it happening though, but you never know. With this new tactic, it might not matter if we're down to ten men. We might still be able to get something out of it. Hill's been amazing lately. Go on, have another go. Oh, we did as well. I uh, I got my Steam Deck this morning, Steam Deck hand um, handheld console, so I'm I'm looking forward to giving that a go later on. I'm gonna try and um, get some emulators and then play the old school games on there. Uh, and also you can upload Xbox style gaming on there or something like that, or Game Pass. There is a way of doing it, so I'm gonna load that on there as well. Um, I've got five hundred. I think it's 512 gigabytes that um just isn't the most i know we haven't yeah 512 gigabyte data, um hard drive and then obviously there's room for an ssd card if i wanted to get more data on there so um yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna i've got a couple of games in mind i want to play um i need to buy them um dave the diver um i can't remember the other ones now uh power wash power wash game just little games that i can just sit and play for half an hour just when i'm a bit bored um especially if my, my girlfriend's watching something on tv that i don't particularly like um i can just put play on the handheld for a bit plus it gives me a break because i'm starting to get a bit I, I, yesterday i barely played on football manager and i usually play it all the time yeah game over now we're not going to get back to this game um i usually play it all the time but i just can't get into a save offline I just I do like I do like a season or two and then I'll just be like I can't be bothered anymore. Um there's nothing there's no like storyline in my head to keep me interested longer than a year or two into the save. So with this save, I love this save because it's youth only. Um and it's for the lower French team. We haven't got into League One yet. Um and there's still a lot for us to achieve. So, I mean, like, for example, I, I was Oxford manager and they were the favourites to be bottom of the league, basically. And I got promoted in the first season. So it probably doesn't help that I managed to find that tactic and it worked out really well. Maybe I should have just not, not found a tactic that really works or something just to keep me interested because I find the saves that I'm really struggling um, to do well, I find them the most interesting to me because i'm always constantly trying to figure it out and but then once i figure it out i get bored uh it's just one there minute i think everybody's the same i think good good clearance there right three one we when the fact that we were oh no that's the ones to come in come on then Baxter. um three one ain't too bad considering we were down to 10 men for most of that game um sorry for the interruption there He'd have just been barking and scratching. That would have been more annoying for you as the viewer listening to that. Right, when's the next game? Okay, right, we're back in the set with the next game. Right, we're now playing Ajaccio. AC Ajaccio. Ajaccio, sorry. Um, let's hope we can get back on track. Uh, a lot of our players are lacking match fitness at the moment. I think we've had a bit of a terrible run when it comes to injuries, which is probably part of the reason why we're so low down the league. But I'm not going to use that excuse because uh, the fact is we've still got quality in our backup options. So we should have been doing enough. Oh, maybe conceded after two minutes. 
uh, maybe this new tactic might not work out well. <laughs> might be the final nail in the coffin, like when WCW hired Vince Russo, sped up the uh, demise of WCW for all you wrestling fans out there. After this, I've uh, I've got five hours of AEW to watch. I know what happens though, so I'm not bothered. I don't really, I'm not really that bothered about wrestling to care about spoilers. It, it still won't ruin the enjoyment of the show because for me, it's about the wrestling matches. Not, this, I mean, I love the angles and the storylines, but I don't. I'm not one of these people that needs to hide away and not watch. I think the only event I do that with is the Royal Rumble because I genuinely don't want. I want to be genuinely surprised who comes down. Um, but if I go on social media and it get and it gets spoiled, I'm not terribly upset. My dad, my dad, when it comes to football, my dad, if he wants to watch a football match because he never tends to watch it live, he tends to watch it afterwards. So he gets really annoyed if somebody spoils a result of a football match, and it's always been like that. And he says, "Well, I can't go on my phone because I get notifications with uh, with Sky Sports telling me the the score." And I'm like, "Dad, why don't you just get rid of the app or turn or just." Turn your phone off. Because he never really goes on it that much anyway. Go on. Oh. But yeah, we can all relate to having parents that drive us mad. I think that happens to 99% of us. But yeah, we're not doing very well at the moment. We are now in the relegation zone. Mets have overtook us, so we need to win this game. Oh, uh, right. Yes. Have we even got anybody? I haven't got anybody. Uh, Denver in there and then put him there hopefully that will help us in some way and we'll we'll get a goal with this new alteration I think this new tactic because we've got to get stuck in on there. I think it will lead to us getting more bookings and potentially red cards. I might have to get rid of the get stuck in part of it. Oh, what's happened here? Hey, oh, penalty, get in. Right, Kofi's probably taking it. He's not, he's not a hundred. Oh, don't let's see what VAR says for this. Yeah, um, Kofi's not 100% very good. He, he'll, he'll miss one, he'll score one, he'll miss one, he'll score one. So I'm not getting too excited. Oh. Nearly, nearly the goalkeeper nearly got that one there. Um, I really thought we'd have somebody better at taking penalties than him, but clearly not. What is his penalty taking? Hold on, let's have a look. Penalty taking 11, yeah, so there's about right in it. If his penalty taking is 11, that means he scores every other penalty, maybe. Good little cross. Bit of a mix up here. No. Both he got booked. Infringement, maybe. Probably did a Harry Kane or something. Crippled the defender. He's a dirty player, Harry Kane, isn't he? I don't know how he gets away with it. Right, here we go. Let's uh, get another goal. Let's extend our lead. Take the pressure off us a bit now. If we're winning 2 0. We'll be doing all right. I've up my fitness uh, game at the moment. Um. Last week is was the first week I started it. So basically what I'm doing is, um, I mean, usually I go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I walk to the gym and then I walk back. That's my usual routine. But now, um, other than Sunday, I'm basically walking 10,000 steps a day. So the days I'm not working out of the gym, I'll still walk to the gym. And then I'll go on the treadmill for like 20 minutes. I'll up it gradually. Um, and then I walk back and I've done my 10,000 steps for the day. Team. What a goal by Abu. So yeah, but my diet's still rubbish. I mean, I mean, I'm 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 partly to blame because every so often I'll be like, oh, I really want such and such like, takeaway. Um, my girlfriend's just as bad. We're not very good influences on each other at the moment. She's got diabetes. She's got to go on insulin too. I've been over like I'm obese. Um, and then I'm like, oh, I really want a KFC. And I'm like, let's get let's get a KFC. So. Yeah, I need to snap out of that. Um, I did. I was doing well with my diet. I went about, I think I went about three or four weeks where I didn't have a takeaway. So I think that's what it was. I think because I've gone so long without having 
cheat meal. I was literally eating chicken and rice nearly every day. Doing well with it, don't get me wrong, but it gets a bit boring when you eat the same thing over and over again. But yeah, because we had, oh, get it. We had on Friday, is it Friday? Friday, we had um, KFC, and then we went to the cinema to watch um, that Bike Riders film. And then um, I said, should we just, because it was late by the time we, by the time we come out of the cinema, um, I said, should we just get a McDonald's? Because I didn't want my girlfriend, who was knackered at that point, um, or I, because I was tired as well, to have to cook at that time of night. I don't like eat, I don't really like eating that late. So we quickly went to McDonald's and we had, I had two double cheeseburgers. Um, not as bad as my girlfriend, she had. Um, I think she had two double cheeseburgers and then 20 chicken nuggets as well. I was like, Jesus Christ. But yeah, so this week, uh, I've said this week and next week, no takeaways. Um, and then in a couple of weeks' time, I might, we might have a takeaway. Because at least it gives us something to look forward to. Um, but we're not overstretching ourselves when it comes to that. It's not good for you to have takeaways all the time. You soon put on the weight if you're doing that. It'll just undo all the hard work I'm doing at the gym. will just be for nothing. Uh, anyway, right. We won 3-2. They were second, so that's really good. This new tactic's working really well. Seven to eight months, Jesus Christ. I don't think, I don't think we're very well. I don't think we're blessed for centre backs. Oh, we're right backs, is he? I don't think, we, I don't think we've got many right backs. I mean, we've got Galvez. Uh, let's see who we can call up. Anybody, right, needs attention. So let's call him up. Also, offer him out on loan. Same with him. He's already. Oh, no, he's not. Um, offer him out. I need to call him up, sorry. Right, let's do this. And do this. We'll do this. It's probably easier to do it like this. And then um, I'll do this first. I don't think we can loan them up at the moment anyway, because it's December. So I don't think we'll get any offers, but at least it puts them out there. And then what we do now is we call them up, like so. I have to call these up as well. The more fresh faces we've got in this team, the better. Now, when we have one of them meetings, it'll probably automatically send a lot of these back to the other teams that we've got. But yeah, let's, uh, we've only got two days. There's no point um, stopping the recording and going back to it afterwards. Right, so we have had a loan off to Massa, so that's good. So here you go. Uh, ability is better suited to the under 18, such a young. No, we should move on. There we go. Right, the mouse pad's playing up. There we go. Sometimes I feel like I have to really force it to move. I, like I said, I think, I don't know if I said it on one of these episodes, but I've got um, a new gaming laptop and it's an MSI gaming laptop. And apparently they have the worst mouse touchpad, touchpad ever. I really wish I'd done my research on that. Um, I got recommended this one by somebody. So I was like, um, and it's really good performance-wise, but the mouse pad is ridiculous. And I've tried tampering with the settings on the mouse and touchpad, and it, it, it's it's not really done that much. So I'm trying to drag something, for instance, and I want to move it to this way. It just doesn't seem to want to do it. Um, anyway, right. If I ramble too much in my videos, I can only apologise. I'm trying to um, communicate. I'm, I'm basically just trying to fill the silences. Because I do that in real life when I'm sat with somebody, I feel like I've got to talk. I feel I, I feel nervous if it's quiet. Um, so if it's annoying to you as a viewer, please let me know in the comment section of the video, and I'll talk less um, about my everyday life. I think it's just my way of trying to like let you know who I am as a personality, as a person. 
so you can kind of relate to me or something or just you know i don't know anyway right the font with the ball Oof, nearly Gil has it now yeah i think this new tactics work in the tree which i'm really happy about because i really did want to turn this around um with so show because i didn't want to get sacked i didn't want this save to end I don't even if we have a really great season from this point, I don't think we're gonna get in the playoffs this season anyway, even with this tactic. Then again, it is only December, so you never know. Um did up with the corner. Beautiful looping cross. Oh, that was a beautiful got beautiful set piece there. Did up with a great corner. Kofi doing what he does best, heading. We've got we've got knackered players already. It's not even half time. So after this game, I think I need to rest some players. Oh, look at that beautiful pass, Pinto now. So Pinto's having a debut here. I don't think Pinto's played for us yet. He's come on off the bench. We've got to take off with Pong. I think we're going to use up all of our subs in the literally in the first forty five minutes here. Um, yeah, I think I don't think we've got many left now. Um, I haven't got any wingers. I put Basil there. Not oh, great. Song as I sang as injured. No, oh, we can't take anybody off now. That's it. We've just got to make do with what we've got. Um, we're one nil up. We're now up to eleven, which is a lot better than sixty in the after the previous game. Or are we? Oh, sorry, I was looking at FC Laurent then by accident. No, we're 13th at the moment. We're still at least we're out of the relegation zone. Beautiful cross. Pinto with the ball. Go on, he's gonna go for it here. Oh, nearly scored on his debut. Isanga with the corner. Headed out. Has another chance with it. First time pass. Paisley. Cross to Bastian. Nearly went to Kofi then. That would have been a uh, nearly work, nearly work to treat that pass then. The Agni. Oof! First time shot put keeper off. There. Isanga. Kofi with the ball now. Kofi with another booking. So I think I think. He got booked last game, so I don't think I don't I think he's got like a one game suspension or something maybe. Could be wrong. Oh, we're only one nil off. This is concerning. Goal! Oh Jesus Christ! That was on a silver plate for you there, mate. Let's grind this. Let's grind this one out now. Yeah, come on. No more drama. Kick in. 1 0. Lovely juggly. Right. I'll be back in a minute because we haven't got a game for 12 days. And, we, and then we've got the French Cup against RC Lens, so that'll be a tough game. So, yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Right, so now we've got RC Lens in the French Cup. Um, unfortunately, Alexis Gill has got injured for two to three weeks. Um, and he was on a hell of a run, so he will be sorely missed. Uh, but other than that, we've got Abdu in his in place, or Thierry maybe. But yeah, see how we get on against. This will be a real good test for this new tactic to see whether it will work with better competition. Um, you never know, an upset might be on the cards. We'll see. It's absolutely peeing it down on the pitch, though, by looks here, so I don't know if that'll work in our favour as well. Get in. Good goal to start the game after. Five after four minutes played, sorry. Did up with the header. One nil. Look at all them fans. Look at all them Socio fans. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. We've got 18,240 people here today for this game. That's a big crowd, I think, from what I remember. So a good start to the game for us. Bit of a quiet game. Not much has happened since. There we go. Corner to us. Did up. 
go on, have another go. Oof. Fair play to him having the confidence to try that. Can't do with the ball. Use it to Diagne. In the middle to Thierry. Across the Bastion. Um, we did have an offer for Bastion that I turned down because it was absolutely rubbish. And we are lacking in left backs. So I, unless, unless they give us a massive offer for him, I'm not getting rid of him. Just out of just the fact that we haven't really got anybody else that can play there. I mean, we've got Bossy, I suppose, that can play there, but it would it would be a very weak area for us if he leaves. So I've turned it down. Unless obviously the board will accept an offer, um, because we do need the money. So if they get given another offer that might be a little bit better, the board might just flat out accept it, and I'll have nothing. I won't have any say in the matter. I have offered him a new contract though, so hopefully that'll help. The talk of the man of himself, Bastion, gives it to Didot. Uh, Didot with the pass, but gets found out. RC Lens looks like they're getting into the game now, unfortunately. We've got uh, Lynch on the ball. Oh, there we go. 1-1. One, one. I knew it was going to happen. Uh, Kali Miendo, who is a very good goal scorer, from what I remember. I think he used to play for PSG. UP? Yeah, PSG. Then he went to Lens. Then Rens, and then back to Lens. Uh, you know, actually, he's not very. He's not a very good goal scorer, though, actually, because he's barely eight goals, six goals, three goals, one goal. But I suppose he's probably a credible player to have in your team because he's probably. I think he's quite, quite tall. He's quite stocky, similar to Kofi in a way. Good. Clearance by Abdu. Still got the ball though. That's annoying. That should be off, surely. Soften it. Yeah, it's allowed. Thank you. No VAR in the French Cup, so that was good. All right, Izanga's playing rubbish, so let's take him off. Zangase in there. Try encouraging the players, that might help. Thierry, you're not playing well either, so we've got Kamara. I think Kamara will be making his debut in this game, coming on here. Galvez with the ball now. Oh, a bit of a collision there by the looks of it. Oh, nearly. We have been the better team. Kofi's not playing well though. Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm going to put Moemba on here. He's now overtook Baz now because my striker options. I think it's Kofi and then Izanga. Ah, oh, we can't we can't make any more subs. Can we? I just don't know. No. So we're down to ten men. Um that probably won't work in our favour. Yeah, you know, if we get this draw though, then we'll play them um, at their ground. It might, it that might be a good little money spinner for us. But if we get a late goal here in advance, that'll be better. Oh, oh, thank it's with the overhead kick. Trying to do a Bellingham there. No, oh, no, here we go. Good tackle, the Agni. That's what we like to see. Fair play. Right, let's see this game out now. Let's not concede, and then we'll have another go at their ground. Paisley, good. good, good, good. Let's just get this game done. We'll count our money, and then, oh, okay, we're not getting a replay. We can go into penalties. Yay! Right. Zilienski lines up. Take the first penalty. That was a nice penalty. That was a good penalty by him. Fair play. Come on, Moemba. Maybe I shouldn't have took off bloody Kofi, my best penalty taker. Ugh, it's Moemba, come on. Right, we're already on the back foot. Oh, oh, come on, rescue us here, mate. Come on. No, that's not good. You're not good at penalty saving, are you? Oh, no, our second best penalty taker is a central defender. We are screwed. Uh, at least he scored. Fair play, Diagne. Right. We need to save one of these next three penalties of theirs. Oh, good, that's it. That's what we want, a bit of luck on our side. Now, Bastion, come on, Bastion. Don't be a dick. Score this bloody goal. 
Yes, get in, we're back in the game, come on. Right, let's turn this around now. Come on, pop out, make a bloody save, earn your money. No, that's not earning your money, mate. That's not earning your money. Pressure's back on us, LaFont. So, uh, slowly drop up to the ball. Bit of a long run up. Yes, get in, go on. Right, what's going to happen here? One penalty each in normal penalty shootout time. Danzo. You're rubbish. You are absolutely rubbish at penalty saving, pop out. We need to get you better at this. Right, pressure's on us now. Abdu lines it up. Poor young lad. Finally getting into the team. And he's going to take this penalty and all the pressure's on him now. The fans are not going to be happy if he misses this. Oh, and he did as well. Poor Abdu. Yeah, poor sod. Oh, well. Onwards and upwards. Did we make much money from the, that exit? Oh, we didn't make any money. Oh, that's a look. Um, I don't think we've made any money from that, really. Right then. Um, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. It's been a fairly long one. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. But thank you for watching. And I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. And all the best for the rest of your Monday. Have a nice day.